As Joseph says, it's going to heat up, so a lot of people are going to be heading to the rivers, but I found out this year is going to be much different than years before. We're talking higher, colder water and really strong currents. Lieutenant Mark Schrake is with the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office. As you can see, the water levels are so high, there's no beach. This is Government Island on the Columbia River. Most years, it's a hot spot for people to hang out. This year, it's covered in water. But it's not only the high water levels that are concerning. The current is also high. I mean, it's a tidal river. It ebbs and flows like everything else. And then you add in the unseasonably high water levels and then and the, what's come off the dam and the speed of the water. Take a look at how quickly the current is moving. We are now in neutral, but still moving at a quick speed. With this swift water and a lot of the debris comes in, the river bed changes and there can be drop offs or holes, sinkholes that people are not aware of because of this unnatural events that we've been having here. That high water and strong current levels is also putting more debris onto the river, especially debris that has been sitting for years on the banks and islands, something boaters need to be cautious of. Now the water and the high current level is now pulling it all into the channel and taking it down river with the current. Lieutenant Drake says it could take until July for the water levels to recede, but that's not the case for the water temperatures. In fact, temps are about 48 to 50 degrees. Normally they start to climb to about 60, but because of the historic snowpack on Mount Hood, that likely won't happen until September. Don't only look for the ambient air temperature, but also look what the water temperature is going to be. And if you plan on actually getting into the water, make sure that you are dressed appropriately for the water temperature and not just the air temperature. 